Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest 2. I'm your Game Master Darius. Last we left off, we had been on a little bit of a looting spree ever since we got in the gold key, and that's for good reason, because a lot of this, uh, I don't know if we needed necessarily, but, you know, it's all good to have. Um, now we gotta go... Bleh. Gotta go places. Oh, by the sound of it, we're back in the Aleph Guard. Yeah, we're back in the Aleph Guard. Um, I don't think there's an easy way to get out from here. Where we are. <laughs> back to some sort of civilization, so I think we gotta go back through the gates. Man, imagine being a dude just sitting here watching a helmet for god knows how long. It's been a hundred years. So, that long, maybe? Hmm. Anyways, uh... So we gotta go back to the castle of Laurasia. Get back to our ship. Oh wait, no. Spirit lives in the spirit shrine in the sea. We get all five spirits. Yes, we know this information. Okay, return to the shrine near Kanak. Cross the channels, travel south to Hamlin, and use the gold key there. Okay. Again, the last time I played this was like six years ago, so... Walkthroughing is probably the easiest way I was going to even play this game. Really? <laughs> Big Rat B Nuo is up. Hell yeah. Alright. I suppose we could also check out what the uh, Bolt Staff does against any next random encounter we have. Yeah, just back down to Hamlin. Alright, Repel's effect only works in the overworld. Matter of fact, yeah, let's go ahead and see what your bolt staff does. Lightning bolts! Neat. And it covers a whole group, too, so... That's pretty swell. Not that I want to be encountering more things here, but e. Can we just... Thank you. Okay, I was about to say, did I pass Hamlin? Let's see... Northeast... Yep, yeah, there it is. Oh, hello. Do I want to kill those guys? Actually, wait. Uh, item... Echo Flute. An echo came back. That is a neat thing. Kiki! Kiki! Monsters Oswarg. That's a name selection. Alright, how do you feel about exploding? Yeah, I don't think they like that. Oh, water seal. There we go. Four of the five seals found. Let's see. Heh. <laughs> I love that. In the walkthrough it says, It's a tough battle, though. Oh well. 
Uh, now we gotta go all the way back to Laurasia. Do we though? Gotta get back to our ship, which is in Zahan. I'm trying to remember where I last rested. Was it rested? It was rested. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Rusted saved one of the two. Regardless, it was going to be somewhere not in, um... Camelin. I didn't even plan that. I was just like, you know what? Let's go. Alright. Is there anything I can stash away? I got so much crap, I could... I guess I can sell the Iron Helmet. Yeah, let's sell the Iron Hel Let's sell the Iron Helmet and get rid of the, um... Slot Tokens. Iron Helmet! Got so many slot tokens, and they're relatively easy to find. If you don't mind a little bit of grinding, which... I mean, we're talking about me here. I don't mind myself a good grind. Alright, let's talk to the king, quickly saved, because we made a decent load of progress. Not that it wouldn't be all too easy to make that progress again, because, you know... Most of the monsters die in one explosion. Alright, uh, get back to the ship. Back to Zahan. Yes, I'm already forgetting again where Zahan was. 23. And that was that dinky little town all the way to the bottom... Bottom east, southeast of the map. whether or not they actually do teleport the ship to you. But if they do, that's fantastic because, yes. And look at that. Carl finally doing some damage. Uh, speaking of, though, let's do a repel really quick just to just make the vill uh, voyage a little bit easier. Da 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 I'm trying to imagine playing this game as a kid and thinking of all the times that I would have gotten really lost. Considering, again, I played Dragon Quest 3. And while it is one of, if not my favorite entry into Dragon Quest as a whole, I never beat it. <laughs> because of how kind of confusing it had gotten. But I was also a stupid kid, so who knows. Uh... Oh wait, we've already been here. Uh, head back to Ostafair. Got... Okay. <laughs> I've already done some of these things after I got the key. Now, uh... So we had to get the loom and the wizard ring that was here. Go back to Ostafair. Why wouldn't I just go back to Ostafair, have done this in Ostafair? But open the hidden gold door that was there and get the guy armor. Already got that. Now go back to Alifgard and visit Tantagel Castle. I can loop, right? I just need to loop and go up. Well, you're new. Oh wait, you got a thing that we can cast from your sword, don't you? Explode it! 
Oh, cool. I mean, a little pointless, but cool. Maybe it'll be more useful in, uh... Boss battles, I don't know. I did use Repel, right? Oh, man. Exploder in the midair. Yeah. I think I ought to go up now. That's one of the things about this game. Once you get into the middle of the ocean parts, that's... Hard to read where the hell you are. Well, harder to read where the hell you are. Uh, can we just flee? Good. Alright, so soon we should be moving towards a point where we're going between the two... Um... Greycorn Towers, I believe they were called. Should be. Where the hell am I? Okay, I see where I am. Metal Slime. Never mind. Ignore everything. Metal Slime must die. If I can get a crit, we can ignore its defense and the Metal Slime perishes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, taking out a metal slime will never not be hype. Especially in these earlier games where finding the metal slime is a little bit easier in Dragon Quest 1 than it is, or Dragon Quest 2 than it is in 1, but I digress. But it's still the act of slaying one that is still a triumph moment, simply because, oh, hey, this thing that runs away on a frickin' whim? Yeah, these things I don't care about. Too far to the south. Flee! Alright, um... Yeah. Do I care about the Reapers? I don't care about the Reapers. It does come to a point where you're just so powerful you just don't give a crap about any of them. Alright, so the shop next to the castle. Shop next to the castle? The light shine on the progeny. Shop next to the castle. Oh, one of these shops. Okay. Don't think he's talking about these guys. How did you get in here? I'm just a retired shopkeeper. Ha 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 ha. What a brave king we have. Uh, this one? I sell sewing supplies. Do you need some dew yarn? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sold out. Dew yarn is a gift from the sky. It's blown from the winds to the north tower of the two Dracorn Towers. It's always on the third floor. We gotta go all the way back to the Dracorn Tower. Find the dew yarn and walk up to the th ah walls. It'll be worse, but god dang it. Anything else in here I should do before I go leaving? I don't think there was. I think I've already looted the place.
Let me double check really quickly. No. All the way back to the... Okay, I say all the way back, but man... Sometimes there's just something about treading old ground that you've already been to. It's like, really? Less in an annoying sort of way and more than that. Man, I didn't want to go back there sort of way. Oh well. It's relatively close. Like literally just across the sea here. I don't even need the goddamn um, cave, I think. Alright, third floor. Do. Play. I suppose I should be slaying stuff just so as I can actually, you know, do the thing. Alright. So I don't spin forever here. Walk north, one tile and west two tiles. West of the stairs. So, one, two. Two yarn. Return! Can't do that yet, because we need to get outside. I say I should be slaying things, but if, if monsters ain't gonna give me, like, at least 100 experience points, it's kinda pointless to kill them. Uh, let's just cast Return. That'll take us right back to Aleph Guard. And look, our boat's here, too. Alright. So, presumably, we also needed to give her the Holy Loom, right? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sold out. Stew Yarn, Sky, North, always on the third floor. Uh, oh, we gotta head back to... So we needed to talk to her so that we can get the information to find the loom. So that we can then go back to Tun. Alright, where was that? Where the hell was Tun again? Tun... Was... Lovely. In the middle of that massive mountain range. Bruh. I'm okay. It's just one of those areas. Wait, is this... Hold up. Looking at the map, because I think I need to go... Through the little blip here. Uh. No, I can go south. Putting my boat on this side of this side of that uh the continent over to the west where I am right now is just a little annoying because that means I have to go down to the south. and then head back to the west. And here's the thing too, because we're heading back to Tun, it's not exactly a thing where we just have to go south uh, because there's that whole mountain range thing. Oh wait, Tun was that area where we had the problem with the, um, with the dam, correct? I think that's where it was.
I do like that I remember half of these places, but I don't remember half of these places for what I'm supposed to be remembering them for. You know, like a little bit like an idiot. Alright. A little bit of a mountain range. There'll be a clearing. We do not get off yet. So far, I would say that the cryptic scale between this and Final Fantasy, a whole lot of these games have been far, far more cryptic with what they expect you to know slash do. Like, I'm looking at the map right now, and good god, I hate, hated coming back to Ton. Because I needed to get off. Here and still have to go around quite a bit. I'm, I don't remember those Muppet Men. Muppet Men, Puppet Men. Hunter. I won't lie though. I, I know that I've said it before, but I'm really looking forward to playing through more of the Dragon Quest games. It's, funnily enough, more so than I'm looking forward to playing through... Um... Final Fantasy. And that might mostly just be because... Uh, I don't know. It, it, it's kind of weird to think of how the hell I want to say it, but it's like... Dragon Quest... It still has that whimsy to it, despite some of the situations just being dark. Metal Slime! You will perish. Good at attack. Whereas, a whole lot of the other Final Fantasies from here on, four, five, well, five less so, it has that, you know, whimsy to it still. But four, six, seven, all of them. Ah, I knew it. Four, six, seven, they're. They have moments of hilarity to them, but really weren't all that whimsical. I like whimsy, shush. Not everything has to be dour and serious all the damn time. Hell, uh, Dragon Quest 3, for the Game Boy Color version at the least, has a Par Parcheesi? Parcheesi? I forget the exact name of it. Track, which allows you to essentially play a board game between your adventures. And I'm like, yes, please. You are giving me far too few tokens to play this because it's fun. We'll get to that when we get to that, but still... I've never played through, uh, 4, 5, 6, A, and 7 for Dragon Quest, I think, either. Cherry, you brought all that I needed. You're determined to make me work. Fine, I will weave you a water robe. At any time, return for it another day. Sir? Ma'am? Dude, you live in the mud. I wonder how long is another day. Alright. Me... Quickest way, save your game, quit, and reset the game. Okay. Really in, right? Quit and reset the game. Okay. Well, we'll save here first, though. You're not the saving person. Where is the saving person? I believe I had this problem last time I was grinding and just chilling out here. Why do I need the water robe? All I know is that I can make one. I don't remember the why. Alright. So this is effectively resetting the game as far as I know. Quit. Restart the game. Resume. 
Should that do it? Should that be it? God, I hope so. Although that does clear up my inventory, if anything. I'm not done yet, patience. God dang it. Alright, let me find the, uh... Dude I need to actually save my game with again. It's been a while since I've been here, so... I for gore. Moon shard, yep. Where the hell was the save place here? Oh wait, was it just this guy? Nope. What the hell was it? I could have sworn that there was a, sa a person to save the game out here. Alright, burn with life again. Or am I flipping high and I don't actually have a place to save around here, so I have to go elsewhere to save? That's the quickest way to save your game, quit. Restart the game, it should be ready. Uh... Like... When you say restart the game guide, do you mean restart... Reset? There by boat. Oh, you got a damn key back. Thank you. It sounds like he's saying damn key. All right, I can only really assume that they mean fields. Field Saiva. And then just hit a quick reset, so. Here's open this works. Resuming deletes the log, yes. Oh right. Resumes me from the last place I entered from. I just really don't want to have to go all the way back to another town just to save to do this. Not done yet, sir. Also, I'm going to throw this controller out the goddamn window. Go to the weapon shop. I could have sworn that there was a place to save here, but I don't. Was it this old man? I really wish that these churchly dudes also had a second purpose. What do I even need this thing for anyways? Water robe. Uh, no. I think it's actual armor. Water robe. Yep, it's armor. <laughs> I think it's the best that Fran can wield. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and call an episode here. When we return... Uh, I want that robe for Fran. Because maybe then she'll actually have some defense. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you're all enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you folks in the next video. Take care. Cheers.